Happy Cyber Monday, Spin Fam. How are we doing today? I guess we know what day it is now. It is the Monday after Thanksgiving. That's right. How exciting. I wonder why, uh, you know, we get all excited for Black Friday in the Spin Fam world. Why we don't care about Cyber Monday. Let's make them have more sales. I'm just kidding. The Black Friday last year was amazing. This year was a little less amazing because there's less sellers so obviously there's going to be less sales that kind of makes sense to me oh wait i got an idea let's move that let's put this right here oh you can kind of see it. i like spinetic i love josh anyway so today we're talking about the bobble from hand spin designs and if you're not aware of hand spun design <clears throat> they're uh, a newer player in the game but they are a big player and i'm gonna tell you they might be uh our newest killer maker because these things are amazing this is the third one i've had my hands on i had the ambler uh which is the bar kind of like that but i i had to sell that to get some other stuff which i've done well i got that and i got that and i got that and i got that and i got uh what else oh oh wait 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 and i got that so I, I did pretty well i'm sorry i had to sell the amber but i'm more of a try guy anyway i got some good bars here um amber could be got again it's not like it won't be made again anyway um <clears throat> so you know we got brandon collins who is this guy he's the the i don't know i guess the proprietor of handspun design if you go to handspundesign.com you'll see what he has available uh, yesterday there was a couple of these. There was a, God, I don't know, stainless and a zerk, I think, or something. Um, but they sold out. They're gone. There's nothing on the site right now. But what Brandon does is he'll drop a few uh, every so often, kind of, basically. And the way to know when that's going to happen is to join the Facebook group, which is, uh, you look up Handspun Design also. Yeah, Handspun Design is the, the Facebook group. And... Uh, I believe that's the best way to find out. And he's probably got like an email thing, a subscription on the on the website, which is handspondesign.com. Um, check it out. It's worth it. Uh, this is another one from him. This is called Triambler. Did a review on it. Did a review on the Ambler. The Triambler is an amazing spinner. Like, Brandon is killing it, for real. This is, this is a top-notch spinner. It may let me sell my copper tri stub because why would I use that when I have this I wouldn't okay so but what's better than this is the bobble the bobble when he when he released it he said uh, I think I may have designed the best spinner ever and I remember thinking I saw it and I said that looks pretty damn cool and sure enough uh, it sold out. I didn't have money at the time to get it when it was first sale when he dropped them. I'm sure he's got more to drop in the future here. Um, but now that I, I traded for one recently, my man Randy Sherry hooked me up. Very nice guy. It just, he didn't appreciate it and he knew I was dying for one and he hooked me up. We did a nice little trade. Everybody's happy. Life is good. And now I have a bobble of my own. And what metal? Hmm. What metal does it look like I enjoy? Bronze? No. Kappa. As uh, Timmy would say. Hobby Timmy Kappa. Anyway, I won't copy Timmy too much. I mean, my whole channel's copied on Tim. <laughs> anyway, so, like I say, it's sold out now. He does the small drops. He's got, he's been going into uh, some exotics, some Zerk, some Mokume, some, uh, oh, I think I saw like a silver one, maybe. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. But those come and go. Like I say, join the group, you'll find out. Um, these buttons, I like the buttons. I know uh, I saw a review. New new Review Era is the name, or New Era Review. New Review Era is what it is from Chris, who <laughs> hadn't been doing a lot of videos, I guess. I mean, uh, you know, who can, can't pay attention to everybody's channels, I guess. There's a lot of them, or there has been. Anyway, um... Gave him a shout out last review I did, and then somebody said he doesn't do reviews anymore. Then they deleted their shit because they realized he had done a bobble and it's a new spinner. So obviously he done reviews lately, but 
I'll digress. So he did a he did a review just to say I'm still alive. Anyway, what was I even gonna say? Oh, Chris did a review. And hmm, totally forgot. We'll have to delete this part. And see what happens when you wake and bake. Oh, inside the everything spinach. That's why I forgot to say it's everything spinach. Okay. Anyway, uh, maybe it'll come back to me what Chris said. Uh, oh, I know what he said. The buttons. We're gonna talk about the friggin' buttons. The buttons are too thin for Chris. Like not, I guess maybe not tall enough this way. Personally, uh, I kind of agree with Chris. They could be a little taller. Just a little bit. Like, uh, I have them on here. They're good buttons. They're great. Great feel. Slightly. A little scoop to them. A little bit. Not, not a lot. They could maybe use a little more. <clears throat> good little button, though. And these have shims on them. They are not dedicated. They have the... The screw, but they could be taller. So let's look under the hood at the same time as we discuss these buttons. I guess we're done discussing the buttons. Oh, look at that, but they could be taller. So the spinner, the bobble. Oh, got me a email. I forget to go to airport mode, airplane mode, I guess you call it. Anyway, look at that. Got the dozen holes, right? Pretty sure. Just from looking. So yeah, those buttons are good. But there's better ones to put on here. Now, I know usually I say we put these on, and these are great on there. But today, wait a sec here. We're going to go with these. But So it comes with the one drop. All of uh, Brandon stuff comes with the one drop. Brandon Collins is his name, if I didn't say. The designer and proprietor. And this also comes with an HC3 from... Uh, another good friend of mine named Heck Ferula. He's at FZ Essentials, FZE.com. I believe FZ Essentials.com. I'll look it up and I'll put it here. Um, he sells the killer brands. He sells the HC3. He doesn't sell the one drop, but that's because one drops suck and Heck only sells good stuff, right? So I got to get rid of that one drop. I'll, I'll use that for people who want them when I trade a bear spin or something. Say, hey, you want a one drop like Randy? And he said, yeah. So he's got a one drop. Um, so I like the HC3 a lot, it's a great pair, but now, heck, has released the HC4, which is like an HC2, but tighter tolerance, and it's amazing, it's still, uh, what is it, SI, silicon nitride balls, I don't know if you can quite see it, but heck, many of his bearings have black balls, some have white balls, this is a black ball, the silicon nitride, <coughs> Great bearing, go get some. But I'll digress back to the spinner. As you can see, it's a press fit spinner. Um, it's a good press fit. There's no play in it. I know I bitch a lot of times that there's play in some of my spinners. And there is a lot of play in some of my spinners. And it drives me freaking nuts. Especially this stupid one. Man, it's so hard to get this one to seat straight. Look, I got it now, though. It doesn't wobble, right? All right, look at that. Nice and straight. Okay, anyway. So... Good press fit, great bearing, love these holes. Throws the weight out is the idea in that. Uh, the balance on this thing is exquisite. Let's put the let's put these buttons on that I like here, and we'll talk balance. So these buttons are the 22 mil cup bars from Spinetic and Joshua Young. I'm sure you know who he is. If you don't, go check out Spinetic.com. Anyway, these are nice buttons. They're eight dollars or something. Uh, the big 25 millimeter, which I have on another of Josh's products right there. Oh, look, you can see my base fit too, my friend of P-Base. Anyway, uh, those are great buttons. These fit awesome. A lot of things go get some. Anyway, so I like these. I like these on there. There's a lot of different buttons. I like uh, these, the DNA's on there. I even like these on there. A lot of good buttons to put on there. Let me drink some water here. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. So with these buttons, look at that. Perfect balance. I'm not fighting to hold it up. Let's see once. Look at that. 
This bearing could be cleaned a little bit. It's, uh, it's a great bearing though, so tight. The HC4 is tight. It's like the HC2, but tight. And that's what that's what we've been longing for, right? Now, you look at look at this uh, reflection right here. Very unique. I've never seen that in another spinner. The silhouette, the reflection, whatever you want to call it, it it's great. We're recording at 60 frames here. I thought I would do my first 60 frame video. Let's see. And uh, yeah, no warpage. Look at that though. Amazing spinner. It's 100 grams, 99 grams. On the website, when Brandon describes this, this web, uh, spinner, the, the bobble, he says, quote, it's born out of a desire to create a smooth worry stone spinner. And that's what it is. It, it just feels so great in your hand. It really could be. Get rid of the buttons and the bearing. It could be a worry stone. Personally, I'm not that worried. My life's pretty chill. So I don't need a worry stone. But what a great, it's just a cool design. How it kind of curves into the next one. It's almost got like that rose look to it almost. Uh, don't have a rose, never held a rose. Uh, what I what I have noticed about this is the straight line here. Like that's a cool line. You don't really notice it, or I didn't notice it. But it's like psh, into the next, psh, into the next, right? So what I was thinking, imagine a bar. I'm not a huge bar guy, but picture that. You know, as a bar, you bring that over. You bring that over. That could be cool. Maybe extend it a little bit. I mean, that could be cool, right? Brandon, check it out. Oh, I hear the, the garbage truck out there. It must be early. Anyway, so, can I recommend this spinner? I mean, it's a hand-spun design. I haven't had one yet that I can recommend. No, and I've held them all but the, the Cloven, which is a try, but this one. This one is like a top five in my collection. Like, for real. This one, the Bobble. This is a triangular, by the way. The bobble. Is it number one? Is it number two? Is it number three? I'm not sure. It's a hell of a spinner. I've only had it a few days. I've only had the Voda a few days. The Voda is a fine spinner. Check out the review I did. But the bobble, it could be number one. And when you go like pound for pound, dollar for dollar, that kind of thing, it's 65 bucks. This is probably the best spinner out there. I mean, it's half the price of this almost. No, it's a, it's a third of the price of this. Holy shit. When you look at it that way, forget about it. Get rid of that. Not really. You can't get rid of that. But when you look at it that way, when this is 65 bucks, and this is like 180 190 something like that, whoa, forget about it. Like this, this is so worth 65 bucks. If you can get one. From from the website handspundesign.com, count yourself lucky and get it. Don't even think twice. Get it. Whatever metal. I don't care what metal you're into. I know guys who only want copper, blah blah blah. Bullshit. Go get it. Stainless. You need this thing. Just like the Voda too. Don't matter what metal it is, go get it. If you get lucky and it happens to be in the metal you want, you're set. That's awesome. So yeah, sixty five for like copper. Uh stainless I think was only sixty. Titanium is only seventy. Like, who is this guy, Brandon Collins? Mokume is 170 And then, I don't know, he does pre-orders for the for the exotics, and he has it crossed out, and it says 120 or something. So I don't know what that means. He sell them for 120 bucks at the end? They were on sale? I don't know. But this and Mokume, or Zerk, or whatever. Zerk, I think, was like 170 maybe. Uh, go check out the website. You'll see it all. Handspondesign.com. I think I've said it like eight times now. But for real, who is this guy, Brandon Collins? He's turning in to be like uh, our number one designer. When it comes to the price, prices he's selling his shit for and what he's putting out, I don't know, man. I, I, there's not too many guys doing it better than he is. You know, maybe he's what's chasing guys like Adrian D'Souza out of the game. Huh? They're scared. And I don't blame him. I'd be scared too. Because this guy is fucking killing it. And uh, I can't wait to see what's next. You know, when you when you post on your web on your uh, Facebook page, I think I may have created the best spinner ever. 
design, the best spinner ever. Those are strong words, right? Oh, fucking A, man. He did it. Oh, maybe he did it. Let's not get too crazy. But it's easy. Top three. I forget about it. It's my top three right now. And I'm not saying it's not number one. It could be. Oh. I didn't even know that guy. Look at that. Oh, it's an HG4. HC4, hit up Heck. He's got, a, by the way, Heck has pre-orders. 10 for 25 bucks plus shipping. Psh, I did that for the last pre-sale. And uh, I'm having so much fun breaking them in for the last few days. Go get some. And yes, spinner bearings break in, you morons. People who say they don't should just get out of there. Go away. Don't be. Don't buy a spinner anymore. Go uh, Go play with Worry Stones or something. Go play the yo-yo. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay, anyway. I'm not going to post about if they break in anymore. I've done like five posts about that over the last year and a half. It drives me crazy. People say, they don't break in. Yeah, they fucking break in. Okay. I've had, I've had 100 spinners and 200 bearings. Don't tell me they don't break in. Okay, I'm done. So, Brandon, as Timmy would say, good on you. Hobby Timmy. Uh, you know, I think only, this will be the third bobble review out there, which I'm kind of proud of. This needed to be done. This video, this spinner deserves so much love. And, it, and I'm going to do my part to give it the love. And I know last video I talked about uh, people in the future watching. If you're watching in like the year, uh, let's say, you know, like 2035 or something. Whoa, hit me up, man. I'm, let's see, I'm going to be, uh, shit, man. Let's see, I will be like 60 then. Holy shit. But I'll be so close to death, maybe you can come get this from me and I'll sell it to you for like a thousand dollars or something in twenty thirty five. What do you think? This will be an original anyway. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. But I, I have been thinking about the future, like where will these things be in five years? In a year, five years, ten years, twenty years. Who knows? We're gonna find out, I guess, huh? <laughs> All right guys. Uh, thanks for watching. 17 minutes. I know I kind of babble a lot. What can I tell you? Uh, it's a lonely world out there. I'm just kidding. Ah, let me drink one more sip of water. Hold on. Okay, now I can say it. Oqua Tanzanwa. Thanks for watching. Like it if you like it. Subscribe if you are gonna. If you want to see more. Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't have too much lined up at the moment, but. I'm sure I can figure something out to review here. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good Cyber Monday.